People, like snowflakes, come in many different shapes and sizes. We're all unique on the inside as well. The three billion base pairs that make up our DNA contain instructions for the same 20,000 genes. But for many reasons, including inherited mutations and environmental factors, we all carry changes in some of our genes. Research has shown that some of these genetic changes affect how we respond to medicines. That's why a dose that works well for one patient may not be effective in another. Finding the right drug and the right dose for each individual patient is the focus of a new field called personalized medicine. Doctors have always used a patient's height, weight, age, and other factors to determine the right dose. Personalized medicine can now add genetic testing to that mix. Researchers have found dozens of different genes that affect how a person responds to drugs for pain, many kinds of cancer, depression, high cholesterol, arthritis, schizophrenia, and more. But who should get tested? What do you do with the information from these tests? And will insurance companies pay for them? Up to one-third of the population carries a gene variant that makes them less likely to respond adequately to Plavix. These people are more likely to have complications such as a heart attack or stroke, or to have their stents cut off compared with people who don't have the gene variant. But doctors don't know who has the variant without genetic testing, and this testing is not yet widely used in medical records. For patients with the gene variant, clinicians will be guided to select alternative agents after considering other factors. The researchers will collect data on outcomes for patients who have the gene variant. Studies are planned, including a test that can look at 60 different genetic markers at once, giving patients and their doctors information that could guide treatment decisions for many different conditions, including pain, cancer, diabetes, and depression. The personalized era of medicine promises to bring better health to millions.